G'day folks, how you going? That was from the well, how good were they? That was absolutely epic, do yourself a favour. Check them out, Spotify, iTunes and Bandcamp. Now that one's been out for a few, a few a bit of a while now. Um, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's all good, it's been out for a while now. Um, that's called Killer, so go and check it out. Um, wouldn't mind a few more bumps on that one, it's an absolute cracker, so um, you just heard it then live. So go and check it out, it's absolutely sick. So welcome guys to the show. Thanks exactly. for getting in here. It's freaking cool to see you all and you know hanging out and stuff. And uh, you know it's uh, been really cool to uh, finally get you guys here. You know, like um, you know from the days of chatting to Daz and you guys down at Bay FM to yeah. now, you know, here we are at Music Man yeah. and off we go. So I believe you got a bit of a surprise for us, mate. Uh, what's going on with uh, a bit of a new? A new thing that's going to happen with you guys, there's a new sneaky, there's a new song coming out. New song coming out, yeah. yeah. We've got a new song com coming out this Saturday. Yep. Actually 10 p.m. Saturday, yeah, yeah. sweet. Uh, so it's called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yep. Uh, there's a video clip with it. Yep. So you got to check that out. Excellent. Uh, so it'll be available on all the iTunes, Spotify, all Spotify, that. Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, da, da, da. 10 p.m., yeah. Yep. YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, yeah, yeah. YouTube. excellent. Um, excellent. So we're do, doing a release party at those Scullygans in yep. the valley in Brisbane. Yeah, cool, right. So we've got um, for it, really, is it? Those Scullygans. Those Scullygans are actually <laughs> pretty cool. Really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a great venue. It's our first time at the venue, but we've got um, yeah. two support bands, Zero One Zero and um, Distorted Views. Yeah, cool. So a bit heavier than what we are, but yeah, you know, it's all good though. We kind of jump on any sort of bandwagon. So. Right, we all do that. Yeah. You got to, you got to in the Aussie industry you know you get out there and have a crack and make it work and do do your thing so yeah it's very good so um just a quick you know reference just for people that don't know the band at all and stuff like that so when did you guys sort of start out and how did all that come about yes we started about Feb 18 I think it was took it so yeah uh, for myself uh, Paul and I knew each other before and Paul knew that I played guitar and you guys were looking for another guitarist yeah rhythm guitarist yeah they've gone through a few yeah <laughs> apparently yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was the story I was told so uh, yeah. Paul approached me and I, first of all I'm like oh yeah and I wasn't actually gonna do it but my wife talked me into doing it and yeah, she cool. that, so yeah but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mind you he'd never played with anyone before in his life but oh wow like that's cool years. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 I was only one talent just came out and it's yeah. like yeah yeah, the old hidden garage the monster. With yeah. Marshall stack in the bedroom, man. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Isn't it funny like that? You know, we all have these little secret guilty pleasures, you know, and you hide away in your, you know, your little space and yeah. you do your thing. And next thing you know, one day someone goes, actually, oh, I want you to come out and be in front of everyone with us. And you're like, oh, shit, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure about that. I, I and, guess like... Uh, yeah. I, I was still like a lot of people, I sort of doubted myself. Like I was always intimidated by real, mus real musicians, you know? Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, when my wife sort of threatened me to, to make sure I went out, I sort of sat down and thought, oh man, I'm not going to be able to do this. And then I heard the guys playing and they, 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 had, they had four songs to start with. Yep. Yep. And I thought, oh, oh yeah, that sounds pretty easy. I can actually do that. Yeah, so mm. it kicked off from there, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's awesome. Now Rob's written 50% of our songs. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's our main songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write, write the other 50%. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, start out with drum and bass. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but basically, Huck and I actually, I yep. was actually, um, I'd finished with my old band and I was kind of just looking for something a bit different for myself because I was playing for, you know, being guitarist for other bands. Yeah, yeah. And we, I just wanted to do something and I put an ad on a... Dating site. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, we hooked up. And yeah, we, excellent. And Huck come around and listened to a couple of songs I had yeah. recorded and basically we went from there. And I've known Red for quite a while, about 15 years. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we've been really good mates for a long time. And um, he was in a, a, a band, another close mates of mine, another band, blues band. Yeah. And, um, they kind of weren't doing a great deal at the time, and I thought yeah. I'd um, steal him. Yeah, well, sweet. Uh, and I, yeah, asked him if he wanted to join a rock band. And yeah. I believe Red's bringing out his own dating site. Yeah. There's something about that. You know, the most oh. beautiful man in the Gold Coast. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> it's meant to be a secret. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Secrets <laughs> like that can't be kept. Visit us at bigred.com. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> and, uh, Red and you, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, um, yeah. yeah me and Red um, have a mutual friend and then went on a camping trip and then Red said I play drums and play bass and 
Yeah, he said, give me your number, and then he was texting me and texting me and texting me, and I sort of, you know, sort of kept on the not lure. replying, not replying, and then his last <laughs> text was, we need a bass player, yeah. make sure you reply to me, so yeah, I replied to him. That's sick. Yeah, at the time, I didn't have a bass guitar. Yeah. yeah. Did um, he go buy one? No, I oh, didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, rock, so I, 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 rock, yeah, I rocked up to rehearsal with absolutely nothing, yeah. and then, yeah, and then used uh, Red's bass guitar, and then, yeah, here we are now. And then there's Huck. Right in the middle there, look at him, the machine. You were the bassist. Very briefly. Very briefly. Yeah, 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 yeah. First two rehearsals. Yeah, first two rehearsals. Half a song in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can just sing. You don't worry about yeah, the bass yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why does that always happen? Hey, I'm the same as you. I like playing the bass as well. And they're like, no, you just sing and chook. I don't think. Damn um, it. I don't think Huck even knew that I joined the band. He just rocked up to rehearsal one day. And they're like, oh, by the way, Huck, Tony's yeah. playing bass. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay. yeah. and you're like, oh yeah. all right then. <laughs> so, what was the infatuation with the legacy style, you know, microphone? Is is it something for the style of the band or is it something you like yourself? Because no, oh, yeah. I bought a few years back yeah. and I thought I'd try it out. It's yeah. not really, um, I'm not that comfortable with it. Yeah. But, um, you, you, you get getting there. Yeah, yeah it's more, I mostly play it just around in the, in the jam room. Yeah, yeah. And uh, use yeah. an SM58 for stage. Yeah. It lets me get around the stage a bit more. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, they're a hard, they're a hard microphone because you've got to be right dead center, you know, when you when you're into them. So a lot of the time, that's a, quite a craft to have, you know. Make sure you always come back, you know. I've, I noticed that because I had one for a while and it was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I need to run around too much. Yeah. So, um, does um your merch packs and stuff that we're talking about, uh, yes. you know, uh, what's going on with that? So, there's a certain percentage of that that's going to a good cause. So, give us a bit of a yarn well, about what's going on with those. We've, with got, that we've got a merch merch packs for sale for yep. um people. Um, I do have one here that I left it downstairs, but I'll grab it a bit later. No, no, it's cool. Um, we can sh shoot that later. But we're going to do a, a raffle. Yep. Uh, which involves a merch pack plus. A little bit of a alcoholic beverage. Excellent. Um, and it'd be first and second prize. Yep. And on the night, uh, June the fifth, at those Scullygans, we'll be doing the raffle. Yep. Uh, all the proceeds are going to go to the Animal Welfare League. Excellent. So, Excellent. Uh, something dear to your heart. Everyone has to do something for the animals. Yep. So absolutely. They're close to my heart. And yep. All the boys agree. Yep. Beautiful. So, yep. That's cool, that's cool. All right, well, let's uh, have a little bit of a chat about um, get, you guys are going to get up and play again for us in a minute, for which sure. should be absolutely yeah. awesome. Um, I was just thinking about, like, you know, the, the kiss, kiss, bang, bang. I've uh, had a little bit of a sneaky look now. For all of you, uh, you out there, wait until you see this when it comes out on June the 5th. You're going to absolutely love it. It's an absolute classic of a, a vintage style. So I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to let anyone more out to that. It's a vintage style on uh, their film clip. It's uh, shot in a particular colour. I'm not even going to say that, or tone, if you will. Um, <laughs> so um, these guys have done a great job with it. It looks absolutely brilliant. And we're going to be treated here today with these guys playing their new song, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So can't wait for you guys to get up there and have a rip. But yep. before you do, just briefly, someone, one of you, I don't care who it is, give us a bit of a yarn of what it's about. He'd be the man to do that. <laughs> this is the man for that. Huck, yeah. you can feel this one, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they all start with some real story. So yeah. Yeah. my uncle, um, he actually, he got uh, get take, taken to the cleaners by his ex, who yep. was a bit of a black widow, yep. trying to get rid of him. And um, from there, it was the beginning of the story, but then we have to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what they say, um, Never let the truth get in the way of a good yarn. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Good old chop <laughs> chop. <laughs> <laughs> Classic icon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do what it. do you reckon, Sonny? <laughs> do yourselves a favour, kiss, kiss, bang, bang. They're coming up right now. Let's go. From the well, do yourselves a favour, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> 